Hello there, viewer, and welcome to another SOS reading. Uh, viewer, this is a general reading. However, it is someone's oracle messages, so either it's going to resonate for the most part or it won't. Uh, so if it doesn't resonate for you at all, just uh, either click off or feel free to check out any of the uh, past Zodiac oracle messages or SOS readings or pick a card readings. Those are all timeless, okay? So viewer, let's find out what um, your SOS messages are and what you uh, need to know right now. Wow. You know what, viewer? This is a time for some of you guys um, to really seek the clarity that you need right now. There may be something here um, with keeping your options open, especially moving away from situations. Or if you guys are feeling something intuitively, it's because um, it's time to go back to a place where you guys really feel at home because there really is no place like home. Okay, so it's time to go home here so a lot of you guys are you might be feeling like you're going through conflict challenges you may be feeling like um, a sense of uncertainty um, but also maybe a sense of even being excited a little bit about what's to come because a lot of you guys are switching up a situation in your life here so um, you know you're going towards serenity you're going towards peace and you're going towards a situation where I feel that you guys um, have a, something about a well-deserved rest, okay? So let's see what else comes out for you, viewer. All right, this one, seek the lesson. Yeah, something, um, there was a lot of um, challenges that you guys went through here. Seek the lesson and move forward because wherever you guys were, it wasn't even the place that you guys need to be or stay. Um, there's something about you guys going towards the destination that you guys are really seeking um, that is protected, that is um, comfortable, that is, I don't know, free from discord, okay? Some of you guys are just, I, I'd feel there was something, um, you know, that maybe there was deception that you dealt with, maybe there was um, chaos, conflict, confusion, um, just seek the lesson, but be willing to move forward. You guys are, um, you're finding your path right now, viewer. Okay. You're finding your path to a place and a situation that feels like home. Okay. Hang on. Yeah. Let go of the old. And a lot of you guys, the reason why you're letting go of the old. And, um, for some of you guys, you're asked to look at a situation of letting go of the old and, and moving on here is because um, you guys are going to come into more brilliance, more um, more of a colorful life. A lot of you guys have really gone through a beautiful transformation. So it only is fitting for you guys to move to the next phase from your transformation. Okay. What else for the viewer? The more you let go of the old or worn out, whether it's mental beliefs, physical things, people, situations, whatever it is, it really allows you viewer to really um, own your own and to speak your truth and to be in your power. Yeah. I really see a lot of you guys with this peacock here. It just, there's a lot of power here. Okay. So this is a time to really own your own power, to speak your own truth. Um, you know, a lot of you guys have really it's like you guys have shed an old skin. So allow this new skin of yours to really take form. Okay. Some of you guys do need a, um, you do need a little bit of, um, a little push here to, you know, to help you guys with speaking with integrity, with confidence here. And maybe there's, I'm getting like queen of swords energy coming through. Some of you guys may have air placements in your chart. But I do feel a sense of, um, you know, asserting yourself, okay, and not being afraid of your own power either. What else for the viewer? Yeah, stay flexible and adaptable at this time. The best thing for you uh, to do right now is to know that, you know, there are these changes happening for this uh, path to be um, lit up for you, for you guys to really follow your bliss. 
uh, to follow where you guys really um, need to, s from some of you guys, it, it is time to get to a place um, where you guys can kind of um, seek refuge or, you know, just seek some time of, um, you know, comfort, stillness. Um, so be flexible and be willing to um, adapt to changes right now. Um, you know, and don't get frustrated if it doesn't go out, you know, go your way the first time or if something just gets, you know, feels off balance. Um, the best thing to do is just to be aware that it is going to, um, it's going to call for you guys to really act um, and be flexible um, at the same time, but be aware of everything. But don't, don't look too far in the future because I feel that if you look too far in the future, it's going to really hold, it's going to put you in a place of not being flexible. Okay, because I feel a lot of you guys are going through a lot of changes. Yeah, um, you guys are following your bliss. It's time to live your joy. Um, don't be afraid to let go of old things and, and really look at the blessing in it because you guys are coming into, um, I'm getting like the sun card energy coming through here, viewers. So you guys are following your bliss and don't be afraid to follow your bliss. Even if it means you have to leave certain situations, beliefs, habits, whatever, um, you know, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. Cause you know, there's definitely a sense of, um, maybe this eight of cups energy, uh, going on for some of you guys you may have um, you know water sign placements in your chart you don't have to but some of you guys may dealt with um, an air sign or a water sign there may have been a lot of pride issues in the past um, with someone that you dealt with or there just was a, a lesson in pride and ego okay um, yeah you guys are following your joy thank you angels for supporting me as you follow your joy and here you go time to go following your joy that's really what you're doing so maybe that's a new perspective to look at things is to actually see it as oh my goodness it's time to go and and live your joy okay it's not a sad goodbye it's not a you know anything it is it, it was what it was and now it is what it is and, and we're gonna go where we need to go what else for the viewer focus and then act. I think I just talked about that. I do get this sense of you guys just being in the present moment um, and acting in the moment, okay? Just staying aware of the things that are happening because this really has to go with this flexibility or this flexible card here. Focus and then act here, okay? There's a lot of strength. Again, look, I just see swords energy coming through, king or queen of swords energy, but yeah, focus and then act. This is about really focusing on all the facts being an in integrity because look at this i mean this is about you viewer speak your truth and be in your truth right be with integrity of everything that you're doing and the choices and the decisions that you're making here okay but i do i i do want to say that you you know be willing to you know have ch plans change um to have to make new decisions but be confident okay viewer what else for uh, the viewer Oh, a loved one in heaven is coming through to viewer a lot of you guys um, need to hear this yeah thank you loved ones in heaven for drawing close at this time a lot of you guys are going through um, a situation where I feel not only are your loved ones in heaven coming through but your animals in heaven are coming through too um, and wrapping their arms <laughs> you know well they're you know their energy arms or or whatever they're they're he, let's just say heaven's hands is holding you viewers some of you guys might be really going through a lot of emotional um you know um you know maybe it's i don't want to say upheaval but just you know it's this just may be an emotional time for some of you guys so um but open up your heart okay open your heart 
um, there is some a situation where spirit doesn't want you guys to feel that you have to close your heart off or not trust a situation. Um, there was a lesson where a big lesson for a lot of you guys in a situation here. So um, seek that lesson um, and have this confidence and give yourself permission to really release the old and let go um, and go towards a place that you guys are going to just love and feel very protected, feel very comfortable. There's a lot of security here. I'm getting like four of wands energy here. So uh, fire placement, um, you may have fire placement in your chart as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you don't have to, but yeah. There's something very significant here when it comes to your heart, um, when it comes to home, when it comes to security, when it comes to um, changes right now. What else for the viewer? waking lion yeah i was just feeling this energy about you guys being an authority being assertive being in your power being bold being a courageous you guys are waking the lion with, within you and this is what i'm getting a lot of you guys are really forming yourself into a very powerful being here a very powerful person so there's this courage that is awakening within you. There's this strength that is awakening within you. So allow it to go through. Um, viewer, I do just really get you really um, going on this path. I'm looking at number 19, number 19 here. Um, and I'm thinking of the sun card in tarot. So I just really feel that a lot of you guys, it's this is this energy that's coming through is not only this waking lion, maybe some of you guys even have Leo placements, but... Um, the sun card energy is coming through um, very strong as well, viewer. So you guys are waking up the line within so that you guys can really see how freaking powerful, beautiful, courageous you are and to see um, the things that really um, match your worth and your desires here. What else for the viewer? Yeah, honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. And that was kind of the energy I was getting for some of you guys with this loved ones, uh, the loved one in heaven and your love, well, you know, whatever. You got multiple loved ones in heaven here. But just to honor your emotions right at this time, because maybe some of you guys too, there may have been a time where you were busy or, you know, there, there are just going to be times when you... Um, have to just allow whatever emotions to surface to surface, but just know it is just part of the ebb and flow of life anyways, okay? Um, and just try to see it as that cycles and rhythm, okay? Some of you guys do need to honor your energy levels, okay? So be willing to be flexible even for yourself. Um, don't put yourself on a very strict, I don't know, I kind of feel like don't put yourself on a very strict routine or schedule here because we've got this flexible um, and, you know, with your energy levels changing and stuff, you've got to honor that as well with yourself. What else for the viewer? really see you viewer absolutely cutting away all of the darkness um, and letting the light and the brilliance really shine through within yourself and your path um, and, and and expanding that understanding yeah a lot of you guys are gaining a lot of wisdom look at this seek the lesson so a lot of you guys if you're not feeling like you have the understanding just yet the more you release let go um, honor your energy levels stay flexible there you're, you're just gonna you're just going to have this knowing look at this third eye here you're just gonna have this knowing you're gonna have this clarity you're gonna have some type of vision or epiphany if you haven't had it yet about this situation and what it was what it served some of you guys it was a big huge uh, spiritual lesson for 
for you to have this process of self-actualization to see how beautiful, powerful, strong you are and to see this beautiful path that is wanting to open up for you because viewer, the path that you were on before is not going to fit this big energy that you're, you're um, putting on yourself right now that you're forming into, okay? What else for the viewer? Maybe some of you viewers too, there's a situation where you guys are leaving old, um, uh, old family style commitments, uh, maybe even a home here, whatever. Okay. Um, focus and then act. Okay. Don't think too far ahead. Um, you know, focus on and act on what you guys see coming now and stay present and you guys are gonna have success. Look at this, congratulations. Again, I'm just getting that sun card energy, a lot of success, um, you know, with that waking that lion, uh, there could be some public recognition or just some type of be beautiful achievements that you guys deserve here. Um, maybe, there, maybe there's some type of certificate or some type of, um, you know, something um, concrete here, but we do have congratulations. You guys are really, um, hitting a level of success. And I do feel a lot of you guys, this congratulations and success is spirit really letting you know that spirit really appreciates and sees your efforts. And this is why spirit is saying, congratulations. This is why you guys are going to a place where it's, you know, no place like home. Okay. It's time for you guys. This is why you guys deserve to live your joy. What else? Hi, Priestess of Spirit. Yeah, follow your calling, following what you guys are hearing, trusting your intuition. There's a lot of spiritual things going on right now with you, viewer. Absolutely, there's a lot of things going on with you spiritually. Listen to those instincts. Um, listen to how you are communicating with your higher self, with your spirit guides right now. Some of you guys might be feeling like the Queen of Swords energy and wanting to, King or Queen of Swords energy. Maybe there's something about simplifying your life as well. Um, you know, absolutely getting rid of the old stuff, whatever. Um, it's going to help you guys feel the environment better. It's going to help you guys really, um, uh, be confident on your path, um, and be very, very flexible and be, um, and be in, in tuned with, uh, the proper, um, and best way to act with what's coming here. So there's definitely this energy and this connection you have viewer, uh, that is very, very, uh, beautiful and very, um, sacred with spirit. Okay. So, um, trust yourself right now and trust what's happening to you spiritually. I feel a lot of you guys, it's just, it's about a spiritual transformation for you. And now it's like these things are manifesting on the outside and, and, um, uh, and just allow it to come because you've really pushed through a lot of challenging things and um, it's not going to go unrewarded or unrecognized, okay? What else for the viewer? And this is telling me, viewer, with the High Priestess of Spirit here, that there is a divine plan already planned for you. You're not small here. Mother Earth. Yeah, you're called upon to help with environmentalism. Some of you guys, that's something that you might be pulled to. But what, what I'm really getting is you guys are really like Earth angels. Um, some of you guys uh, may really have that beautiful motherly energy, whether you're male or female. You just know how to nurture. You know how to take care of things. You know and honor spirit and spiritual uh, beings. You honor Earth element. I mean, there's something about you honoring earth and all of its beings and it you know it's so i do feel a lot of you guys um there's something strong about you being um a beautiful light in the world 
some of you guys do a lot of healing work um, you know whether it's exposed or private it doesn't matter um, and I do sense a lot of you guys just have this very nurturing um, aspect about you so uh, go for your passions go for your purpose don't be afraid um, to even start all over sometimes sometimes starting all over actually is a disguise of you getting a lot further because you're not willing to stay stagnant in situations that you know aren't growing right or you just know it's not like you know you just know it's time to go okay so trust yourself what else for the viewer And I feel for a lot of you guys, this, this energy about you and um, Mother Earth, um, environmentalism, or just you healing or doing something here, powerful is part of this speaking your truth, right? Being strong. Speaking of Mother Earth, here we go, fertility. So I definitely get Empress energy coming through here. Um, yeah, it's a perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions because... Um, yeah, let go of the old. So there's new prosperity for a lot of you guys and new ideas, new, new things forming for a lot of you guys. So don't be afraid uh, to actually act upon these things, right? Focus and then act here. And don't be afraid to act because some of you guys will get these inspired ideas. Um, and what's going to, what's going to block you is just not actually acting on them. Okay. So be willing to just go for it do whatever you guys are feeling inspired to do here um, and maybe with this fertility maybe it is something with empress energy about taking um, care of yourself and making making sure you guys are nurturing yourself because i see a situation that you're coming into um, where you're going to be like the sacred person the sacred energy that's that's going to be given a lot of um a lot of abundance a lot of creativity to really birth and nurture and really sustain okay because you're that type of person, you're that type of energy here. I definitely see something very strong with a very with a mother energy here too. So some of you guys may have um, you know a very strong mother coming through. Maybe on the other side, some of you guys are mothers. Um, this is not you know obviously that's going to resonate for all of you guys being mothers, but uh, just take it if it resonates. Um, but either way, there's just a, there's just a sense of your connection with the environment, your connection with spirit, your connection with um, all things right now that's really really important. Okay, um, so make sure you guys are making room to fill these new energies as well because. Um, you guys are coming into new talents, gifts, um, new sacred uh, spiritual gifts. What else? I also see a situation, viewer, for a lot of you. If you're afraid that you're not going to be able to release past emotions or sadness, hurt, whatever it is, you know, whatever challenges, I do see you really being successful at doing that. Um, there's just something about you and your persistence and your courage and something about you not willing to give up on something that you really truly believe that you deserve and that's for you. Um, that you're not willing to allow things to hang on. You know, you don't want to hang on to um, heavy things, heavy emotions, um, darkness, you know, you're willing to do whatever you have to, to, you know, uh, overcome, overcome those challenges. Um, and a lot of you guys have, and so, um, something is, is happening here. So do not give up here, viewer. Okay. Not saying that any of you guys are giving up, but what else for the viewer? tender embrace this is really cute okay so 22 is coming in so i do see something very significant about divine partnerships and connections but you guys have to trust and trust this some of you guys you just don't know you just don't know you're not supposed to know you're supposed to just give in into the mystery right now it is it's there's definitely a sense of tribe a sense of soulmate oh this is so cute um and i was seeing this look let go of the old so you guys can embrace the new and we have tender embrace 
but they're both number 22 cards here so um, I find that very significant viewer so I'm seeing divine connections partnerships balance okay so let go of the old so you can embrace the new look at this so cute what else for the viewer Yeah, some of you viewers may be very passionate about animals as well. That's part of that Mother Earth um, energy. What else for the viewer? Yeah, seek your answers within. Again, that's that high priestess of you know high priestess of spirit. You guys are going to have the understanding, the clarity that you need. Um, ground yourself. Some of you guys may need to ground yourself at this time. Connect with this, those energies of um, earth elements or just, just ground yourself um, and seek these answers. Because everything that your heart is desiring, anything that you are seeking as far as um, the things that you are spiritual about, passionate about, inspired about, wanting or you know things about your heart there's something that is going to come to you there's some type of vision okay so pay attention right it's all within you viewer time to reflect my goodness look at this so this is really connected with this card yeah time to reflect so make sure again that you guys are staying flexible even for yourself viewer making sure you guys have that time to reflect so that you can focus and and then act i think this is the key here is to focus and then act right but if you need to ground yourself if you need time to reflect do it that's part of you honoring the cycles of your body your energy levels and emotions okay what else for the viewer Maybe there's something here with reflecting too on on the old and um, you know what you know sometimes the things that are challenging is there to give you some contrast of what you don't want so that you can kind of focus on what you do want so you have to like cut out your new dreams you got to cut out new visions here okay so be willing to do that be willing to be flexible um, yeah oh my god just talking about that be willing to be flexible um, we have rigid so just be aware of that I just feel that that it there's just something here you know just um, again you know sometimes it's hard um, when something doesn't go on the way that we thought it should or or could have um, we begin to become very rigid and unwilling to be flexible about other opportunities or other ways of um, seeing things or um, whatever but um, just be aware that there may be something about the stubborn energy okay so at play here um just be flexible okay i just for some of you you may you know you might find yourself going back to old habits so just be aware of that uh what else for the viewer And I do sense, um, I think I, I said this earlier that some of you guys were dealing maybe with an energy that was very rigid and stuff. Well, I didn't say rigid, but stubborn or I don't know. Maybe I did. I don't know. <clears throat> Strength. That's more of that waking that lion. Yeah. You guys, there's nothing that's going to really, there's nothing that can really throw you away, throw, not throw you away, throw you off. The, there's something already embedded very strong here when you're when you're connected spiritually and strong here there's nothing that's going to throw you off so just know wherever you guys are um wherever you're rooted it's going to be very strong okay so focus on your strengths right now focus on this is the energy that you guys are going towards and building and just getting even more grand and strong okay Sometimes it takes a great strength to be very flexible. And that's being flexible, you know, 
again, with maybe our beliefs or our habits or um, being flexible with not being so rigid <laughs> or having to do it all in this way, whatever it is. But anyhow, what else for the viewer? Yeah, some of you guys, or maybe something here, just take it if it resonates, or maybe something here with your gifts, your talents, um, something here where you guys have to be willing to let go even of those old ways um, because you're coming into, it's not that those old ways aren't going to help you, but it's there, there's something evolving when it comes to your own spirituality, your own talents, your own gifts, your own unique way of channeling. Um, creative forces and energy and, and divine energy okay so you have to be willing to let go sometimes of old um, I don't know just old ways of doing things um, uh, and it's you know it's not uh, anyways just be willing to just open yourself up to um, new ways of expanding your your high priestess energy here okay and let it go oh my god yeah there's definitely something in our heart we have to we have to be willing to let something go in the heart because it's something there's something you have to open your heart up for could it be could it be the re, maybe hurt guilt resentment um whatever it is there's just a situation that you've got to trust right now um that's bringing good things to nurture your heart okay there's something that's forming here when it comes to harmony balance um, beauty when it comes to growth here in the heart area for you okay what else Yeah, the miracle of nature. Some of you guys just, yeah, re reconnect through nature and get some fresh air. Some of you guys, it's just, it's so imperative because it's the way that you guys can really um, get centered again, okay? Uh, I see a lot of nature cards and spirits in the in these cards here. So, um, mm -hmm. spend time outdoors. And I wanted to get a little bit more with that let go. So make sure you guys are getting fresh air. You know, again, be flexible about your own schedule, too, for some of you guys. I want a little bit more to give us a little bit more with let go. may be something here with letting go try for some i don't know trying to trying to win a situation or oh look at this seven of pentacles yeah something is just not growing for some of you guys you guys know what it is you know there's something that with this seven of pentacles earth sign is coming through here i, I really get there's something about reflecting reevaluating but willing to um you know not see it as starting all over and have to start from the bottom um, but be willing to, you know, let go of those things that are not growing or that, you know, you've already got what you needed. Okay. Let me see what this is. Five of wands. I was going to say something about a tug of war. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's something about this, like a tug of war conflict energy. Some of you guys have to let go trying to win a situation. Some of you guys just have to let go of any chaos and conflict at this time, it's seriously just time to move on and time to go. It's time to go, okay? Some of you guys are waiting around for something to, and it's just, it's causing a lot of conflict for you, okay? So let it go. Maybe there's something about a fight here where some of you guys have to let it go too. What else for the viewer? Fire sign is showing up. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, trapped. We need a little bit more. Look, we got this card of trapped here. 
What's interesting is there's this raven here, and there's a raven here with the rigid. Let's get a little bit more with trapped. Give us a little bit more with trapped. See the truth. Some of you guys, there may be something that we're not willing to see or we don't want to see, but there is something about seeing the truth in a situation, right? Let it go. Got it. Some of you guys have to really listen to your own intuition about a situation here, especially in a situation where you feel there was deception or you feel that something's just not quite right. So see the truth and this is really going to release you so where you're going to see the truth of something here is going to happen um, during this time of reflection right seek your answers within so the answers are always it's going to come from within viewer and you guys are going to free yourself you're going to free a situation here what else for the viewer getting seven of cups energy coming through here too, viewer um, there may have been a lot of confusion maybe there's something here too with um, illusions or um, fantasy maybe temptation was at play for some two of wands yeah it's time to go it's it really is you, uh, I got to say something for some of you guys be willing to get out of your comfort zone because that's what it's going to take with this two of wands uh, focus and then act be willing to um, really look forward into the future viewer there's something significant for a lot of you viewers when it comes to a partnership um, so be willing to uh, move out of your comfort zone um, be willing to um, get out you know here it is time to go look at this time to go right don't be afraid don't be afraid of what's to come here either let's get a little bit more with the two of wands for you let's get more with this two of wands Yeah, new life. You guys are ready for a new life. You, you're so ready for a new life. So take time to reflect. You know, um, see the truth in a see the truth in a situation. Be willing to see what's keeping one trapped here. Or, um, you know, for some of you guys, there was a situation where someone tried to keep you trapped because they knew that no, I'm not saying they knew like it was something you know that that would be an accusation but there's this just this energy that I do pick up that you guys kind of have an, an intuition or a feeling or something was being shown or revealed or there's this hunch about even there's like this feeling of someone just trying to have a lot of control over you for a lot of you guys or a situation like that too um, but some of you guys too absolutely there's something here though where I feel a lot of you guys might be at this two of wands energy where you're at a crossroads and you're not really sure what to do or, you know, whatever it is, or there's just still like, you know, uncertainty and having to decide and figure things out. Um, just be flexible, focus, and then act. Just keep going towards the new because it's going to be new life for you. Okay. And that's really that energy I was getting. You guys are letting go of the old because you're waking up the lion within you. Okay. What else for the viewer?
inner wisdom more with this um the owl energy coming through here you know what to do trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay look at that focus and then act here's the two of wands new life Ooh, viewer you know what to do trust your inner wisdom take appropriate action without delay now some of you guys are really going to have to do take a little time to reflect so that you guys can do this right feel confident in your inner wisdom okay uh what else for the viewer all right that's it for those so i want to find out viewer what does the viewer need to be aware of what does the viewer need to be aware of viewer you need to be aware of this oh you got great big love coming you do you got like a ace of cups times 20 here you got like ace of cups maximus you got great big love uh viewer this is what you need to be aware of there is some type of partnership that is so balanced and and full of love and life for you oh my goodness this is why be willing to go towards new this new life right be willing to get out of your comfort zone or or whatever there's something here a lot of you viewers are seeing some type of opportunity you're kind of feeling this hunch you're feeling something you're seeing something okay so be aware you got big great big love um let's find out how is spirit helping you and i was looking at that you know let it go here um this heart here and that's exactly i mean yeah you're gonna get the right situations and circumstance for you viewer let's find out how spirit's helping you viewer quieting the mind it's beautiful spirit is helping you guys try to be very tranquil um there may be ideas or different approaches maybe um you even have uh um different things in your environment that show you um you know uh how to quiet the mind or maybe just you're one you're inspired to meditate more or um, whatever it is but spirit really is trying to help quiet the mind so that you guys can stay focused that you guys can get your inner power replenish yourself um, recharge yourself for some of you guys but also this is this is key for you viewer um, because of your connection with the spiritual realm it is very key that you guys um, are able to quiet the mind um, because there is something that is going to come to you an answer that you've been looking for that's going to come to you during a time of reflection okay and this answer that's going to come towards you toward, uh, during this time of reflection is going to give you the confidence the courage the strength to really focus and then act and not have it any hesitations okay let's find out um i want to find out viewer what i want to find out a good thing that is coming towards you viewer what's a good thing that is coming towards the viewer because i mean i can see great big love is coming let's get another um card here for a good thing that is coming towards you and then let's get an outcome for you the thing that's coming towards the viewer A merry motive yeah you're gonna have the drive and the passion to really get um motivated yeah see look at this i'm really getting like the star energy a lot of you guys are really cleansing and clearing a situation within yourself and really seeing the beauty and the power of who you really are viewer um there's a lot of uh like very star energy about you so let your light shine viewer and don't be afraid okay 
a lot of you guys just have a very unique thing about you and it's just very beautiful so um allow allow that to shine a good thing that is coming towards you is a merry motive for you guys to really take action for all these things that are waking up within you and be inspired there is so much motive going on and it's fun it's happy it's spun some something about spontaneous that's why that flexible flexible card is coming through here okay so let's find out an outcome for you this is kind of like more of an energy um, for you guys to really utilize that's coming towards you okay an outcome for the viewer message in a bottle wow this is really interesting you guys are going to have some type of uh, message uh, some type of communication here that's going to um, be very unique actually for a lot of you guys i want to get a little bit more about this outcome message in a bottle Maybe it's a message you've been waiting for for a while here, viewer. Uh, I hope, yeah. Let's see, um, give me a little bit more about this outcome message in a bottle. It's like a delivery, some type of, for some of you guys, it might be some type of a, a unique way that it's delivered is what I'm getting too. Let's see, share your thoughts. So, okay. I'm getting you guys really sending out your messages, um, sharing your thoughts, your wisdom, um, because I do feel for a lot of you viewers, there's something about you and what you do in this world or just something that you're you know, destined to be or um, be more of is really sharing your messages, sharing your thoughts, um, because a lot of you guys are just this, this energy that I feel of um, a divine channel here. So... Um, yeah, I do feel a lot of you guys need to expect maybe there's something about communication, messages, um, a message in a bottle. But yeah, I see an outcome of you guys really um, sharing your thoughts and your wisdom and sending it out there um, and allowing it to just kind of uh, find whoever it needs to find viewer. OK, um, let's get one more for you for the outcome. look at this yeah whoa 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 look at this viewer roots of abundance and um opening to discovery mm -hmm. into me i see here so notice the tree trunk and remember you got this card of strength so you guys are going towards or building a situation some of you guys are already built like this very strong foundation for you but i was picking up prosperity for a lot of you guys so you're you really are um and look number two yeah, maybe some of you guys are seeing two, two, twos. So roots of abundance is your outcome and opening to discovery more things because you're so rooted, grounded, and there's a lot of abundance. Okay. So there's so much for you to explore and to experience viewer. It's very, very, it's very good. Okay. So be willing to, um, you know, be willing to move and, and to go into the direction that you're feeling. Okay. I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.